my friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make another fruit salad. Ah, papaya and mango here. One papaya, one mango. Small papaya, there are larger ones. But it is peeled and seeded. And here the mango also pitted and peeled. And then I have these bite-sized pieces. This is always, when I make a fruit salad, the most um, um, important part of the work. To um, pick a fruit first, a combination, a pairing. This one I paired because I know um, they are filling for a breakfast each on their own. So we huge high in fiber both, high huge fiber content that makes fiber is what we cannot digest and ironically <laughs> that makes it super healthy for many reasons. Fiber is a crucial for healthy food. A food without fiber is not a plant, not a whole plant. Fiber is only in plants. And it's important for us to have fiber. It makes even unhealthy food healthier. The sugar in plants, for example, in fruit, is healthy because of the fiber. The fiber moderates the intake of nutrients into the bloodstream. If it goes too fast, it spikes. And that's not good. Then the insulin and the, the whole mechanism, um, how our body pr produces energy, gets into it out of balance. So the fiber keeps this balance up. And also fiber has some parts of the fiber are very important, um, help to produce very important nutrients. But it's a complex matter. Yeah? We, we only learn about this these days and the research <clears throat> is going on since veganism came uh, into a global wave 2014. It, by the way, caused or are triggered by medical studies, the first big medical studies in favor of plant-based diets. Yeah. How many diseases are related to nutrition and so it wasn't known before widespread. The first big studies came out in, from the Harvard Institutes in America and that spiked, uh, I guess so, <coughs> the global, the first global vegan movement. That is uh, at least what the Vegan Society in England reports in their um, anniversary, 70th anniversary, you can re read that. Before 2014, there was no movement, global movement anywhere to be seen of veganism. 2014, boom, all of a sudden, exploding everywhere. At the same time when the studies came out, the first big studies. So I think it, it's a pretty sure that health is so important to make sure if you have a, a vegan diet, you can be healthier, even healthier than without a vegan diet. So that was, I guess, important. And since then, the research is taking on, and we don't even know um, so many things about plants. It was never a big concern before. Crazy people, even medical doctors, they don't even think, talk about of, of nutrition. They don't have nutrition in their education, even at the university. Nutrition doesn't matter for medical doctors, obviously. <clears throat> that changes, of course, now. And since it changes, we begin to learn all these things about fiber, what fiber really is, and what phytonutrients are, what fruit are, how healthy they really are, and so we learn about that. So, <clears throat> so I combine these two fruit because they are super healthy together and filling. The fiber is, makes it filling, so it keeps for a while, and don't need to eat again. And we know that both fruit have a very great health benefits, full of minerals and vitamins, of course, but also um, the Indian tradition says they use all the time papaya and uh, mangoes in very different ways, yeah, many recipes. And they have great quality there. I've been there once. Amazing. Just for the fruit, you go there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they say mango is for, I guess it was the skin, and papaya is for the eyes, they say, very simply. And they have old traditions. I don't know, it has to be backed by science, of course, but if you say, if they something, say something is good, other than their animal stories. That is a different story. But the plants, spices and herbs. If you have this yeah, knowledge, it's ancient um, Indian traditional knowledge is very important. Very, They have very much knowledge on that. Yeah. So I really um, look a little bit at that um, while our research here in the West is catching up a little bit. Yeah. But so uh, this is the reason why I choose them. I like, of course, these two fruit also because they taste so nice. Mangoes have a peppery sweet flavor. It's very nice um, flavor and delicious. 
And papaya are more gentle, they have a neutral flavor. So you can season papayas in many ways. Yeah, they're sweet, of course, um, but they're very gentle. And you can put even chili pepper, cayenne pepper, lime, or whatever on top of it. You can use it in savory dishes. Yeah. You can use it raw, you can use it unripe, you can use it ripe. So papaya is very versatile, same as, as mangoes. In every kind of form uh, you can use them. All kinds of dishes. There are famous recipes in Vietnam and so in Thailand. They have huge, huge amounts of dishes. I just begin to explore that, honestly. The simple fruit salad to begin with is very easy. The ripe papaya and the ripe mango I make a wonderful fruit salad. I have several of them. And now, um, the thing today is a new dressing. I used this combination uh, in some smoothies and it's really delicious. Just the combination of blueberries, the healthiest of all fruit, by the way, from a medical science perspective, and orange. These two together have an ama amazing flavor. And there's also a, a, a fiber story hidden in this um, pairing because both oranges and blueberries have one fiber in common that is super healthy. It is a, called pectin. Pectin is a fiber that is used in large amounts all over the food industry as a thickener, a healthy thickener to make things gel up for puddings and so on, other things. And both are super high in, 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 in this uh, fiber and pectin. So if you blend packed, uh, blueberries on their own, they turn into a gel. <laughs> Same when you blend oranges on their own. They gel up a little bit afterwards, they get thick and creamy. That's just the fiber. So both very interestingly with this fiber, super healthy for digestion and so also uh, fibers are amazing. And I don't know why they fit together so nicely in flavor. Flavor is also a nutrient we learn now, so everything is nutrients. <laughs> it feeds us. Yeah. Flavors feed us. Yeah. So I don't know how they are related, the flavors of oranges and blueberries. I know together they are wonderful. You gotta try. So I will add some dates here. I have five or six dates here or seven to make it a little bit sweeter because the blueberries have been frozen and the oranges are not from my own garden, not sunripe, maybe, I don't know. So uh, they maybe have not the full flavor you get from the very perfect super <laughs> fruit you can buy. Yeah, it's very expensive. These are not so expensive, still expensive enough, but the blueberries are inexpensive because they have been frozen. They are available all over the year and oranges are pretty uh, usual. You can get them all everywhere all the time also. So um, put some dates in there and you blend it and you have a little bit more of the original sun flavor. Sun adds sweetness, sugar. Yeah, that's what sun does mostly. They produce sugar in the plants. That makes them sweet and ripe and delicious. Yeah. So adding a little bit of date, natural sweetness, makes it a little bit more delicious. Yeah. So I blend it up and see, let's see what happens. Blender dance. Blueberries are frozen. That's nice also for blending because when you blend a little bit longer, um, they need a little bit longer blending. Also with the dates, they are pretty firm and dry, so you need a little bit more blending. Then together with the frozen blueberries, you can blend a little bit longer without the, the smoothie or the dressing getting warm. That was the blender does. It warms the food. Sometimes I add ice cream, uh, uh, some ice, uh, to make it more uh, nice. Uh, to, to prevent um, my blending from getting too warm. And I don't need to do that when the blueberries are frozen, of course. So let's taste it, it looks very nice. The color, I love this color. Let's, let's taste it. Mm. The fresh, 
code is there from from the frozen blueberries. Delicious. I show you in a moment. First, I put my main ingredients, piles of mango, into the bowl, and then I just toss it with my dressing. That's all I have to do. As I said, most work is picking the fruit, make a decision, and then cut and seed it, peel it. That's a really um, the thing that is most work in a fruit salad. But then the rest is easy, you know. And I like to work with the fruit because touch them, it feels great. Yeah, it feels really good for the skin. <laughs> yeah, it's, I like that. So I show you now my dressing. It looks beautiful. It's a wonderful texture here. And it will gel up a little bit because I said it's a pectin in there that will make it uh, gel up a little bit in a couple of minutes. But it doesn't matter because I have a dressing here. It um, coats the fruit very nicely. And um, if there's a little bit of thickening effect, it doesn't matter. Just the color is so beautiful. And I was looking forward to that. Because many of my recipes, um, I begin with the idea, what does it look like in the end with the colors? And blueberries produce the most beautiful colors. And with orange together, you could also put greens in there. Recently I made a spinach smoothie with this base. <clears throat> Delicious. Yeah, you can use this um, blueberry orange base with dates, maybe or maybe not, for many other things. Yeah, for many other uh, recipes. Yeah. The color, of course, is always very strong. Yeah. yeah, you can use it in every recipe, but the flavor is amazing. And with this recipe, it looks pretty nice. I show you what it looks like. Put it in my glass to serve it to myself. I love it. Already love it. It's very simple. And honestly, <clears throat> I never made this fruit salad before. So I can make uh, new recipes all the time. And I just take a small number of ingredients. And then I can change one of the ingredients, add another one, take a new dressing. Yeah, so you have endless variety. It's so easy to make a little change. But the little change, one day, makes in 100 days, 100 changes, 100 recipes. So you can put a lot of ingredients, new ingredients, into your food and that is also something very healthy as we begin to learn only. We understand that variety, yeah, variety of plants is one of the main factors for a healthy diet. Our mind, our body loves variety. Be creative, endless creativity. That is um, very good for our intellect too. Here. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It looks nice. Hey, it will taste beautifully, I'm sure. Can't wait to try it and um, enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it too. If you like my video, I will have it. Like it. Subscribe. I'm vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. Feel inspired. Create your own recipes. It's easy. Take three. Begin. Continue. Change. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Most of all, most important of all, be vegan. Everybody, now.